changed as they listen to the Word of God through this program. You see, God's Word is like seed. It's like a little seeds of faith. Uh, Bill, hand me that little sack over there on my desk. I know this is a little out of the ordinary, but or somebody, hand me a little sack of seeds over there. You just picked it up the wrong way. All the seed just fell out on the floor. No. <laughs> God's Word is like seed, and seeds can stay inside of a package, you know, and there are still a bunch of seeds inside of here. They're so small, they're almost insignificant. Isn't it something? People would like to have this right here is some type of early girl hybrid tomatoes and uh, the new edition model. And uh, it has little, little instructions on the back of this little seed package. It tells you what times of the year that you plant this, the conditions to planting it. You start it out indoors and then you move it and transplant it outdoors. It gives the outdoor planting dates, zone one, zone two. Talks about the different kinds of soil that the seed is sown in. But this seed, uh, unless it's sown and released into uh, the special types of good quality soil and watered, it will not produce this big old rosy red tomato on the outside. And God's Word is continually talked about being like seed. That is called the incorruptible seed. That means it's not subject to decay or corruption. And God's Word, that they don't know it, but they've been called of God to fit into God's kingdom. Some are foundational stones. Some are pillars, some are wall builders, some are gate gatekeepers in the house of the Lord. Some are cornerstones. Each one of us are like a special jewel set by God in a perfect setting. This so neat. My famous suits and famous shoes. Let me change this a little bit. Now, most of you know, Years ago, I built houses, sold them, designed them, did a little bit of everything. And one thing I never did do was lay brick. <laughs> I, just, I, I never did, but I watched it so many times, I've got a mental image of what it is to lay brick. So, audience, you just watch where you are. <laughs> I need two more hands. Actually, we need five people. We need two to hold the bucket. We need three. <laughs> But right here, I know with all of my heart that this brick, this stone, represents a believer and someone that God has called to join hands with us to rebuild the walls of this ministry, to continue to rebuild broken lives around America and around the world. I'm doing prayer. Let's begin to prophesy. The Jews begin to prosper. I know as you bless the work of God, God will begin to bless and prosper you. And so we're going to, by faith, put this one stone in place right here. Sounds official, doesn't it? <laughs> and this is someone today coming back on board that left because of all the negative press and the lies of Satan. God called you to be blessed through this ministry. With feature vocalist today, Dean St. Pierre with Roundup and willing and wound up for Jesus. Here they are. <laughs> to be the number one cornerstone that God used. And then we have the gates. It's so important. Some of you are many people, maybe businessmen or women, that can be tower. I'm telling you, if you want to touch Jesus, you got to go where Jesus is moving. You got to be where he is. You got to be in the middle of what's happening. She pressed through a crowd. Think about it. Multitudes all around Jesus. None of them getting healed. None of them getting miracles. But that one woman got a miracle. Why? She mixed what she heard with faith. And that brought a miracle into her life. God is a faith God. He's love. Those who believe and act upon the word, God reveals himself unto those that will have a heart of faith toward him. God revealed himself to Debbie. You'll see it in moments. She laid her Christian prayers, but you've never understood. In the name of Jesus, 
We thank you for the provisions that you have made through Jesus' work at Calvary. That you gave us power over all the power of the enemy. You demonic spirits of hell. You demon spirits of sickness and disease and infirmity in the blood, in the back disorders, arthritis, cancer. I bind you, infections. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Fatigue, I bind you in the name of Jesus. And I command you to depart from that body. Go from that body. Get out of that blood. Get out of those bones. In the name of Jesus. There's a bone that's, not, that's been broken that has not been amending. Right now in the name of Jesus, I speak healing into a bone that's been broken. Healing into a bone. Healing into some ribs that have been broken out of mending. Healing into an arm that's been broken that's not mending. There's a bone that was broken and did not continue to grow. Right now in the name of Jesus, that bone that's been damaged in the growth cells. Bone, arm, leg, I command, there's a leg growing at this very moment. I command you to grow to the correct length. Short leg, short arm, Grow in the name of Jesus. Crooked back, be made straight in the name of Jesus. Straight in the name. There's a, like a power of God going into a person right now. There's a leg growing out right now in the name of Jesus. There's a back being made straight right now in the name of Jesus. There's an arm growing out that was damaged. There's a rib being here. Bones. There's an anointing right now for bones. Arthritis, go in the name of Jesus. Neck, broken neck, be thou made whole. Be whole, be whole in the name of Jesus. I send the word, the healing power of God in through the television set, through the radio speaker in the name of Jesus. And now Holy Spirit of the living God flow through every cell, drive out every germ from the top of your head, my brother, to the sole of your feet, out of the hands of the devil who's held it back. Remember when Jonah prayed, excuse me, Daniel, and the answer didn't come. An angel came, said to him, Daniel, the first day you prayed, God heard your prayer. But a, an enemy angel, satanic angel, withheld the answer. But because Jonah didn't, I'm fixing to talk about Jonah. Because Daniel didn't give up, the answer came. See, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities. And you had to fight the fight of faith lay hold under the eternal life and the new creation realities and take them by force. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence, but the violent, those who have been attacked, become forceful and take what is rightfully theirs by the word of God. That's the word of faith. You got to get into that dimension. If you get into looking, going by how things look and what you see or how, what you, natural reasoning through your senses, it, it'll just begin to shrink. That's why so many people are lacking, because it's just shrunk down to nothing. But you get into that faith. Your world, some 30, some 60, some 100, it just gets bigger, <laughs> bigger and better every day. If you keep walking by faith. Someone should write me and share with me your touch. Yeah. Some 30, some 60, and some 100 fold. This isn't hype. This is Bible. I believe this. These people that are believing it on television and are mixing it with faith, it's working and producing in their life. And God sent me to you today. It's your day. It's your day to plant your faith. It's your day to release your faith. It's your day to mix it with faith. I want to lay my hand upon your vow. I want you to call me real quick. I want you to make a $1,000 vow. I'm going to send you a cloth. And if anybody wants one, they're free for anybody who wants one. It's got the anointing of God. I'm blessing the work of your hand. I want you to call me right now. Our prayer ministers are standing by in our prayer ministry center at 214-620-6200. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is the Spirit of God. It's no accident you're listening to this program, especially you that are hurting with needs. There's a businessman watching me right now. Sir, you need to make a $5,000 vow out of your business account, and you need to pay it immediately to get your faith out there and give that devil that's been beating you up a black eye. When that David killed the giant with the same sword the giant had tried to use on him, when the devil attacks your finances, that's when you begin to need to use your finances to attack back. See, seek first the kingdom of God. Learn how to walk in his righteousness. We begin to send you books and tapes and magazines and ministry letters. And you begin to read them and listen to them. I'm getting you out of that boat. If you'll listen to me, God has sent me to get you out of that boat. You can stay in it if you want to. Or you can rise up and get out of it. We have seven minutes left off the air. We would use our faith 
that you were able to cause all men to give into our bosom and bless us with earthly favors and blessings and that you would give us the seed to sow. Father, they're making statements of faith. They're mixing this word. They're not burying their talent. God, you said those that bury what they have, you take it from those that bury it and give it to those that are using their faith. Father, in Jesus' name, Move in her life. Bless her in Jesus' name. Here's another one just came in, a $1,000 barrel. Carolyn from York, South Carolina, vowing for her family. See, the woman in the Bible made vows, uh, the, the, the widow woman gave, and her son ate. See, you can release your faith not only to get your need met, but for someone else's need to be met. Sometimes we become so selfish just thinking about us, but what God will do for someone else. Okay, here's another th a $500 vow. Patsy from Cherryville, North Carolina. Father, here's Judy and Larry and Patsy and Carolyn. Father, in the name of Jesus, I agree. You told me to agree with your people. So don't abasande ikanda de bosoya. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. There's a woman watching right now that just had a, a terrible strife in their marriage. You need to make a vow for your marriage and just begin to pay it. You need to make a vow to break the powers of darkness. A hundred dollar vow of faith. See, it's got to take faith. If a hundred dollars takes faith, then that's what you need to do. If 500 takes faith. Bob, why do you say that? Cain and Abel both gave to God. God only honored Abel's gift. Hebrews 11 tells us because his gift took faith. And without faith, without it taking faith, it's impossible to please God. There's several lines available. Real quickly, 214-620-6200. Here's Carol from Roxbury, Virginia. Father, in the name of Jesus, she's bowing for a house and a job. You said we could decree a thing and it'd be established unto us. Father, right now, in Jesus' name, I agree and decree and speak and birth this thing into existence in the name of Jesus. It has to be. House, come into reality in the name of Jesus. Better job, come into reality in the name of Jesus. It's done. It's done, my sister, because you listen to the still, small voice of the Lord. See right here, another carol. Praise God. Now, Carolyn, 15 seconds. When we go off the air, we're still here. Those four lepers, they said, why sit we here till we die? If we go back, we'll die. If we stay here, we'll probably die. If we go forward, it might just work. And God brought great deliverance because they didn't sit where they were. Don't let that demon or procrastination keep lingering over you. Rebuke the flesh and make a vow and pay it. And watch what God will begin to do in your life as you mix what you heard with actions of faith. Don't forget, the best is yet to come. Office Box 81-9000, Dallas, Texas, 75381. In Canada, write Robert Tilton, Post Office Box 4900, Vancouver, B.C. Next time you're in Dallas, join us at Word of Faith Family Church, I-35 at Valley View, North Dallas. Sunday services are at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. On behalf of Bob and Marty, thanks for joining us, and God bless you. Good morning. My Stopping. Satan has tried to take this ministry off the air. He has tried, tried to stop preaching the full gospel message of Jesus, of casting out devils and speaking in tongues and laying hands on the sick and the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Satan has tried to stop casting out devils and getting people delivered from drugs and alcoholism and all the demonic on television. I want to see broken lives rebuilt. Right now, there are several lines. Or the first pillar or the first gate or the first towers. I know you're there. I rose up early this morning and prayed. I know you are there. I know God sent you up and put you in front of this television screen. I know you're there. And I don't want to see you remain as a heap of rubble. I know God has called you, some of you to be cornerstones, some of you to be gates, some of you to be towers. I know the Lord has called you. Robert Dilton will return right after these messages. True Christianity in a relationship with Jesus is total freedom. 
total freedom from bondage of any sort. I don't care what it is. I don't care how deep into sin you are. I don't care what you've entered into. Jesus is total freedom. Find out why this dynamic message is changing people's lives. Call area code 214-620-6200 for your free copy of God's Miracle months ago the morgans couldn't sleep at night long overdue bills stress at work and home mommy i can't go to sleep it was more than they could bear but one restless evening they heard an encouraging message about releasing their faith through vowing and reaping god's storehouse of blessings you can rest assured knowing that when you make a covenant with god you'll be waking up to better days ahead from Detroit has called in and he won't oh, 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 will roll hallelujah 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 every cloud Every time. What's going on over here? Let's get some figures going here. Well, there is uh, Alma from uh, New Paris, Pennsylvania. She is a uh, <laughs> one of the walls for She's a wall. Alma, God bless your socks off from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. You're rebuilding the walls. Hallelujah. You're not just sitting there. You're doing something about it. Hallelujah. Rebuilding the walls. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don, what else we got? Well, right now come on believers out there in detroit you can do it what else some more is coming in they're gathering up for us right now bob okay right now we're going to show you an incredible testimonial of a lady who was just sitting at home maybe like some of you but the lord touched her through this program god delivered her and she is a born again turned on believer because you help rebuild the walls those can those feeble people at success in life can they rebuild yes we can rebuild can god do anything without rubbish stones and the ex-partners yes we're going to rebuild the walls in the name of jesus we're about to go off the air in just a few moments fred johnson the success life singer is going to come back if you're real good and go to the phones and i know in the name of jesus surely there is one pillar today at least a tower right now for $1,000 a month or $100 a month. I know you're there because I know I have favor with God. Hello. And I know I have favor with man. I know that I know. Listen, I would not be doing what I'm doing if I didn't know God was with me. I know that God puts it in certain people's hearts to reunite, unite together in ministry. It's an anointing. You don't choose whom God ch chooses to touch you. Over here to the total boards as you get to the phone and call. Fred, just hum. <laughs> I Some more days. 
I think we just got a thousand dollar one time gift. What else do we have here? Here's another. Uh, here's Richard from Detroit, a foundational gift coming in. And I know right now, surely there's some thousand dollar a month, five hundred a month, a hundred dollars a month. Come on, faith people. Let's get back on board. Let's rebuild the walls. Let's do something for the work of God. Quickly, go to your phone now at 214 620 6200. Lives. God bless you. Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Every cloud away. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Today, Success in Life comes to you with a special broadcast, Rebuilding the Walls. A time ordained by God to unite today's army of believers, inspiring them to go forth and possess the land. Here to sound the charge are the Success in Life Singers and Orchestra, with special musical guests Fred Johnson and Dean St. Pierre. Now, with God's special word for you, here's your host, Robert Dilton. Be seated if you can. What an exciting day. Get down here where all of you are. Hi, Bill. Good to see you. God bless you. This is an exciting time. Some of you I've seen before. Some of you I've never seen before. But it's a great time to be here. And those of you that are joining with us, this is a special, special week of broadcast. In fact, I just got the great feeling in my heart that we're going to continue to have an orchestra and singers and all kinds of music. And it is blessed to see Art Osborne and the boys of the orchestra. Uh, give them a big welcome, the Success of Life Orchestra. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Also, we have our special music guests coming up there. In fact, they're not guests. They are full-time on staff here at Robert Tilton Ministries. As most of you can see, I'm standing next to a real unusual uh, pile of bricks. And this is the beginning of rebuilding the walls and rebuilding our ministry to rebuild broken lives and to rebuild walls back up again. To see minds renewed, to God's Word, to see bodies restored, to see redemption uh, brought into people's lives that God loves them and that through Jesus Christ we can be restored back into fellowship and back into favor where the free favors of God profusely abound. Incredible persecution and attack. And we've had a lot of stones, a lot of the bricks in God's house and God's walls have fallen down. And God really began to deal with me several weeks ago about rebuilding the walls, restoring what the enemy has destroyed. So let me read a passage of scripture to you. <laughs> I never did, but I watched it so many times, I've got a mental image of what it is to lay brick. So audience, you just watch where you are. <laughs> Success in Life comes to you with a special broadcast, Rebuilding the Walls, a time ordained by God to unite today's army of believers. Here to sound the charge are the Success in Life singers and orchestra with special musical guests, Fred Johnson and Gene Crow. Now, with God's anointed word for you, here's your host, Robert Tilton. Hey, amen. Got people all over the place here today. Mo 
more and more and more. Oh, and there you are at home. God bless you, too. This is exciting, isn't it? Now let's give the Lord a good one. Everybody across North America. The sound, blow the horn, Art. Let's hear the, let's hear the sound of victory. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Blow that shofar horn. seated. We don't have any tombstones here. We have lively stones. Amen. And that's what we're doing, rebuilding the stones, rebuilding the walls of this ministry and rebuilding the walls of broken down lives. So many exciting things are happening. I've been in the back going over the testimonials and finding out what's coming up today. In fact, we have an incredible testimonial of... <laughs> I'm, I'm really here. Just stay tuned. You folks watching, you, you don't know what I'm going to wear next, or you know, don't, don't know what I'm going to say next. <laughs> first Corinthians, the first... Turned around and bought me Calvary. The ministry here, him through the ministry to rebuild the walls of broken lives. That's what this ministry is all about. So the Lord gave him this plan where you could be a part. Maybe you could only give $12 a month and you can be a $12 a month foundation person, and you can be a part of the foundation of rebuilding the walls. It has to start somewhere, yes. and the foundation is the place we begin. And then there are the walls. If you can give $25 a month, you are a person that are considered a part of the wall here. If you're a cornerstone, the cornerstone, a very important part of the building, you become a cornerstone for $50 a month, and then, of course, the huge pillars. Everything that's strong has to have a pillar. If you want to become a pillar, you do that by vowing or pledging $100 a month. And if you want to become a part of the great, beautiful gates, you do that by sending in $50 a month, $500 a month, I should say, $500 a month. And then if you want to be a part of the towers. The tower is one that sits at the top and where all the view comes from. And as Pastor Bob said the other day, if you become a tower, you're preaching the gospel 24 hours a day. And you do that. Maybe you're a business person. Maybe you are blessed and you can pledge or vow $1,000 a month to rebuild the walls of this ministry and the walls of broken lives. I believe God will bless you wherever he is telling of the land. The devil's a liar. That was a hang-up. I believe there's people right now should be calling. And I'm not going to sweat it. Watch this testimonial. Hold it. Which one is that? The name of Jesus. Hello? 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 Yeah. You there? You know who you're talking to? How'd you know that was me? Where, where are you right now? In Detroit. <laughs> I just believe there's some more people in Detroit need to be calling, don't you? Did you call to pledge and help? How much do you want to give a month? $25 a month. Don, what's your name? Michelle. Michelle, you're watching us right now on television, and we just put you down to help rebuild the walls of this ministry for $25 a month, and I'm going to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, this dear sister chose to obey the Holy Ghost, to be a doer of your word and not a hearer only. God, as she's released the anointing of God to flow out to help us, I believe she's released the Spirit of God to flow and to move into her life. God, as she's released her faith to help us, I believe it's released faith into her life for everything that she needs. And God, you said if we would give, it would be given back. It would be given back. Men would give into our bosom good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Father, bless this dear sister. 
And God, I believe it's no accident that you had me pick up the phone to talk to her. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I'm going to give you the prayer minister here so he can take the information, okay? God bless you. Isn't that great? Hallelujah. I believe there's some more people need to be obeying the Holy Ghost right now. Don, I believe there's some. If I had my own business, I wouldn't hesitate to see down that business there. And if I had that, an inheritance or what have you. Maybe you want to give a one-time gift. We, we take anything. Hallelujah. $500 a month. $100 a month. $50 a month, $25 a month, or $12 a month. Get up out of that lazy boy chair and get on the phone. Don, well, what's happening? Well, here's Pat and Ray from Michigan, and what one of them is going to do, one of them is going to be a foundation, and the wife is going to be a wall. Well, so that's a new one. one. Is going to, I thought I thought was interesting. They one's must going have to be, their own checkbooks or something. I don't know. <laughs> but at least Not one's a foundation house. and one's a wall. Amen. We only have one checkbook in our house. But my we'll wife's. take it. Okay. They'll help us rebuild we'll the it. wall. We'll take it. Here's a, here's a foundation from El Paso, Texas. No, I'm sorry. That's a cornerstone. El Paso, Texas. Get on the phones. Oh, look here, Bob. A what? What is that? That says $1,000. That's a tower. A month. $1,000 a month. Race that out. I'll tell you, there's somebody out there listening to God. And believe me, I know that all of these are just as important to God as the next ones. Believe me, I know that. It's each person doing what they can purpose in their heart. Mara. Maria. Canada. From Burlington, Burlington Ontario. What was that a month? It was $50 a month, a cornerstone. Okay. Here's another cornerstone. This don't... Well, no. Well, from San Antonio, Texas. This is Ginger from... Well, it's some, someplace in California. And it's $50 a month. It is a cornerstone. And here is Valine from Goldsboro, North Carolina. Another cornerstone, $50, $25 a month. I don't know where wall. we are anymore. <laughs> We've got to go. We're still here when we go off the air. We've got a, we, we didn't get to a whole lot of things we're going to do today, so you just got to watch us tomorrow at the same time as our new Success in Life program goes across North America and up into Canada and the Caribbean. Don't give up. The best is yet to come, and faith says it has begun. Get ready. The trumpets of victory are about to sound. Today, Success in Life comes to you with a special broadcast, Rebuilding the Walls, a time ordained by God to unite today's army of believers. Here to sound the charge are the Success in Life singers and orchestra with special musical guests Mike Johnson and Dean St. Pierre. With God's anointed word for you, here's your host, Robert Tilton. God bless all of you. Praise the Lord. Another great group of believers. I really, God bless you. You're a blessing, Jim. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 I hear the Lord saying to me, Bob, wade out there into the Spirit. The gates are a pillar that holds the walls up or a tower for rebuilding lives. Hallelujah. Get my martyr here. Don, just go there and lay hands on those phones. Do something to get those people off their duffs over there in TV land and get oh, out. Yes, we've Lord. we've Jesus, given you a word. In Jesus' name. In Jesus one, name. by yourself you can put a thousand of light. But two, I mean, get in agreement with God. Yes. Get it, yes. Getting in agreement with God. Yes. If you're in agreement with God, you're in agreement with the word. And you're a doer of the word and not a hearer only. Amen. So what? Some don't believe it. So what? Some start out and stop believing it. So what? If some have the word stolen out of their lives, is that going to stop you from going on and being a hundredfold Christian? Is that going to stop you? So some don't believe it or some want to try to come against it. The devil would not be fighting this message if it didn't work. I said the devil would not be fighting this message if it did not work. 
The Bible is full of people that vowed, including the Apostle Paul in the New Testament. Don, I'm believing those people that we're going to have that nine for $100 a month and a whole bunch of what Unless you give, you cannot receive. You, the, the, the sowing of the seed prepares the soil, the harvest. Psalms 50 verse 29 says it prepares the way. That vow, that pledge, that giving, that tithe prepares the way. Prepares the way so that God can show you his salvation. It prepares the way. It, like a seed, prepares the way for harvest. We're trying to get you in the spirit. We're trying to get you into faith. Hallelujah. Don, I'm going to lay a brick by faith here, getting ready for those. What are we up to? We only need eight more at $100 eight more a month. on the pillars. Bob, the, it, you're, you're teaching the word. Give, and it shall be given. I sure am, and I'm not compromising Give, it. and it shall be given. And I'm not backing back on it either. I tell you what, I'm not going to stop preaching this message, and I'm going to say it on television. Don, I'm going to say it on television. Well, you I believe the devil doesn't want this on television. You need to stand up and say, devil, you don't tell us believers and Christians what to do. We tell you what to do. Breakthrough for somebody out there. Don. Wherever you are, go to your phone right now and make that pledge Good and say, I'm not going to sit here and just let this happen. Blind I'm going to stand up and I'm going to vote. I'm going to vote. And my that's vote voting. is... You're right, Don. That's, that's that, I am going to vote. I'm going to sow. I'm going to give. You are voting for the gospel. You are saying, I believe in the gospel. I want, I want Christian gospel. television on the air. When you go to the phone... When you go to the phone, you're saying, I want to keep a message of truth on the air. I want to keep somebody on the air that will preach the word, that will preach the truth, that will get me out of this poverty. Poverty is not of God. God does not want us to be poor. He wants us to be able to be able to meet our needs. He wants us to have more than enough. And to be able to give to every good uh, charitable work and, and donation is what 2 Corinthians 9 says. I know there's some people, there's a businessman, you need to pledge $1,000 a month out of your business. What are you waiting on? Some of you wait and wait and wait and you know what's going to happen? You're going to wait it's going to be all over and God's already gone on by and you missed that window of opportunity. Right now, Don, who's calling? We have Lawrence calling from... Hello, Bob here. <laughs> Yes, it's the prayer channel. Yes, this is the prayer channel. You're speaking to Bob Tilton. Uh-huh. God bless you so much. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You want prayer? Right now? Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus... The healing power of God go into this woman and this child. God, we break the principalities and powers off of them now in the name of Jesus. God, you said in your word today that you set intercessors on the walls of Jerusalem to boldly proclaim that every one of your promises comes to pass. And God, we intercede for this woman now in the name of Jesus. And all the believers across North America said, Amen, amen. and amen. amen. God bless you. Here's the prayer minister now. God bless you. Here's another phone just came available. Hallelujah. Right now, the Success in Life singers are going to come and sing and bless you in songs, singing something. Practice it right now. <laughs> same chair, that same bed, that same couch, that same old rundown house, or driving that same old rundown car this time next year, unless you release your faith. And no better way of releasing your faith than in Jim from Stephenville, Texas, for $100 a month. How many more do we need? We need four more. Four more. Come on. Four more. Quickly. We got to get this brick in here. Here is Suzanne from Belton, New York.
Belton, Kentucky, wants to be a foundation for Hallelujah. $12 a month. Come on, foundations. $12 a month. Everyone doing their part for their city. Here's Janice from Evansville, Indiana, that wants to be a foundation for $12 a Hallelujah. month. Hallelujah! You know, Bob, we're over 1000 for God wants me to do something, so they're getting out of their seat. And here is Mike from Grifton, North Carolina. He wants to be a wall for Hallelujah. $25 a month. Walls. Wall builders, rebuilders on the walls of Jerusalem. Here is Clara from... Bartow Calum. Precious jewels. I will make your towers of... We've got the world's greatest musicians and singers. Here is now Dean St. Pierre. Don't give... of life around you. Draw nigh unto me, saith the Lord, and I will draw nigh unto you. If you will seek me early, you shall find me. Delight thyself in me, saith the Lord, and I will give you the very desires of your heart. Can you imagine the Lord saying that to you? Woo! That reminds me of Jacob. Jacob, everybody else is in. Peter saw Jesus walking on water. Jesus spoke to him and said, come. G Peter said, Lord, is that you? And Jesus said, come on. And Peter took that step of faith. Woo! Fred Johnson and the Success in Life singer. And if you think that's a yeah, either by Sata and the wealth of the sinner shall come into the hands of the righteous. God gives you power to get wealth. Hallelujah. And that power is acting on the word. Hallelujah. Abe's got a call from the Netherlands. Here is Arlene from the Netherlands who would like to be part of the brick and mortar in these walls that we're rebuilding here for the ministry and for their individual lives. Arlene wants to become a partner with us, pledging $12 every month from the Netherlands. Thank you very Hallelujah. much for calling in. I Hallelujah. imagine she's watching us via satellite in the Netherlands today. Also, from the Bronx, New York, here is Mary from the Bronx. <laughs> also pledging to be a foundation partner with the ministry here, $12 a month. Thank you very much, Mary. From the South, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, actually right on the border of the North and the South, or the Eastern North and the South, is Linda calling in, also wanting to be a foundation Hallelujah. We partner. need those foundation people. Hallelujah. You know, Bob, it's so important for our partners and viewers around the country to realize that no wall could ever be complete without each and every category in the wall. For example, the pillars cannot stand if the cornerstones are not there. The cornerstones cannot stand if the wall That's segments good, are not man. built. I haven't thought about that. And no wall could ever be built 
rebuilt or complete without the very integral formation being formed. So don't think that a gift of $12 a month is minuscule and doesn't mean anything to this ministry. You've seen some of the marvelous outreaches that this ministry is doing to endeavor to bring the gospel to people all over the world. And yes, $12 a month means a lot to people all over the world and to here at the ministry. So become a foundation member, and I believe God will promote you to become a wall member. And as he increases your prosperity, you'll be able to help God's message get out. Here is Thomas from Griffin, Georgia, calling in today. Thomas wants to become a wall, a part of the wall, a wall partner with us here. Praise God for Thomas from Griffin, Georgia. And now here's Vicki, and if I don't pronounce this Vicki correctly, please excuse me, but I believe it's I Iena, Virginia. Vicki a today, she says, I want to be part. I go to some music. Here's a success in life singer singing Sail On, and that's for you. Hallelujah. Let's welcome them. Mark, let's go do it. On the air here as our partners are calling from all over the United States, Canada, down in South America, Central America, and out in the Caribbean. I don't know how we get so far. The Netherlands today we got one from right now. I here is Larry from Goldsboro. One. Absolutely. Larry from Goldsboro, North Carolina, calling in to say that Larry would like to maintain support for this ministry by becoming a cornerstone here and pledging $50. Larry says he wants to be part of the brick and mortar. Thank you, Larry. Here's Daniel from Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, pledging $100 a month to stand with this ministry and with God's army now as we rebuild the walls. Again, David from Baltimore, Maryland, getting a lot of calls. And these people, as we ventured out from Manila and went way up into the remote area of Urdaneta. Oh, that's right. Thousands and thousands of people came. They had never before heard Stay the gospel of Jesus had been Christ. Down. Rats running through the hotel. Roaches this big. Woke me up. It's so big. <laughs> Monsters my this back. big. But the point this is big. that these people came every night and sat under the teaching of Pastor Tilton to hear about the resurrection power yes. of Jesus Christ. Bondages were broken that day. People were set free. And I'll never forget the lady who had a giant goiter on the side of her neck. It disappeared miraculously as God healed her. And she took the time to come up and thank God. And she said, I thank God for whoever sent you oh, to right. our country. And she wept there that day. Thank you for allowing us to go to these countries. Others who was once skeptical about God's healing power so she lived with her in these walls Bob so be it problems in their knees I want you to call it's no accident Sue gave her testimony today and by the way thank you Sue Jesus healed a man and said go and sin no more at least a worst thing happened to it out loud Jesus you are the Lord of my life, and I will never thank you, Jesus. As I lay my hands on all these red prayer cloths that have come in, put your hand on top of mine. Here's some more of these prayer requests coming in. Pain, hurting, hurting in their eye, hurting in their lungs. Can't believe you'd have people lay hands on the television screen. Who cares what those people think? They're nothing but a bunch of doubters and old skeptics. And you know something? They never got anything from God, and guess what? Never will. All they'll get is judgment day because of their unbelief. You that have faith, Jesus said, nothing is impossible. Now, I just say what God says. If that offends you, I'm sorry. Then you're offended not by me, really, but by God. You that have faith, Jesus said he's looking for faith looking beyond the natural. Now, I'm going to rebuke Satan, so don't be afraid. I'm going to bind him. I'm going to come against him. Luke 10, 19 says he's given us power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Thank you, Lord. You see my dear brother and sister that has their hand laying on top of mine, that one in the hospital room with their hand on their chest, that one with their hand on their knees, their heart from heaviness and their head from migraine, then their shoulders from arthritis. Satan! You foul, demonic, demon spirit. Satan, Jesus Christ defeated you at Calvary. You have no authority over this child of God. The blood of Jesus has cleansed them of sin, and therefore you no longer have legal right of dominion over them. Satan, I bind you now in the name of Jesus, and I command you to come out of that body, come out of that shoulder, come out of that mind, come out of that heart, come out of those legs, come out of those knees, come out of that house. I break your power now, Satan. And you know who I know who you are, Satan. And in Jesus' name, I rebuke you. And now, Holy Spirit of the living God, 
Let your healing power flow through my hand as I lay hands on these prayer requests representing these people that have dared to use their faith and do something with it. God, let your power be in action now flowing through my hand. Flow into these cloths. Oh, God. I believe in the anointing. I believe that you wrought, according to Acts 19, 12, special miracles through the cloth and aprons taken from the body of Paul. And I believe, oh God, as these people lay their hands upon mine, you're there with them now. Oh God, your power going in their body. And God, saturate every one of these cloths that people have mailed in for me to pray over. On the one hand, be fraction back some type of he Lord in a heavenly language. Ulo soto basa la da baka da bo soto ba la ta thank my miracle. I thank you, Lord, for my hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Isn't the Lord good? God, it, I'm going to sing. God, is so good. God, is so good. He's so good to me, and he's so good to you. Well, I've been Amen. being with you, singing another tongue. You've never been baptized in the Holy Ghost? Just begin to worship the Lord in a heavenly language. Ulo soto basata, la da baka da bosoto, ba da baka sata. Thank you, Lord, for my miracle. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, for my miracle. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Isn't the Lord good? God, it, I'm going to sing. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me, and he's so good to you. Well, I've enjoyed being with you on the airwaves in your city there. Find a place I can get. <sighs> I know what God will do for you in God's people. I was sent with a message from heaven. Some of you accepted it, some of you didn't. I've got to go where God sends me. Jesus said, when you go into a house, if they receive you, let your living Bible says, let your blessing come upon you. Spirits that's attacked this child's life, you demon seducing spirits, I bind you, Satan, I bind you over this home. I bind you over their finances in the name of Jesus. 
You demon spirits of tumors, come out! Come out of that marriage! Come out of that body! Come out of that home! Come out, you demon spirits of poverty! I bind you, you thief! You came to steal, kill, and destroy, but I take dominion over you in the name of Jesus. I said, Satan, in the name of Jesus, you loose this child of God now. so far supersedes that thing that you once thought was God's perfect will, lift up both hands in the name of Jesus. You're going to find life is worth the living because you put your faith in God. Lift up both hands. God will be with you. He'll be your attorney. He'll give your natural attorney the mind of Christ. In the name of Jesus, everybody lift your hand as high as you can. His power goes through my voice. The sign of the cross. Jesus. But she gave as I say it on blue and I do this Cause I'm getting richer day by day Tell me what the Lord I say it Cause Jesus he knows me And he knows I'm right I've been talking to Jesus I'm doing what they're called to do Sometimes he'll even use really well-meaning Christians to try and discourage you from doing the very thing that God's called you to do It's the only good ones Tying it off. Have the seat next to the bishop. From 6 p.m. till midnight, help stop Devil's Night fires in your neighborhood. To volunteer, call 224-3450. Stay mad. Stop Devil's Night arson again. Be defeated. We are not be defeated anymore. And you were fatal. Into your life. Let me cry as I look. Yes, sing it, son. All right. Let's start seeing ourselves the way Jesus sees us. He sees us through eyes of love, through eyes of compassion. No matter what you might have done, no matter what Satan's come against you with, Jesus loves you today. And you need to start seeing yourself the way he does, and that is through eyes of love. Now somewhere someone can't go on there. In the way. Flowing into a child of God right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, saturate everyone. Just before she sings, though, Dwight. I know I'm not perfect, but you work. You're the only one perfect, and you work through and through. And he gave me uh, this particular film. So what was God doing when we knew you as vanity? <laughs> when he knew I was vanity? God was doing knew that. You were God was not uh, bringing vanity into me. I, I brought vanity into me. Um, and, I that, made, and you reject I made all that. that? Yes. Yes, I certainly did. I, I see you're whole, you're, you're, you have a Bible. I was Jennifer saying. doesn't have a Bible. I mean, well, right now. Uh, Jennifer, uh, uh, a priest once said, said to him, used to pray in my, in my bedroom beside my bed, and I used to scream at God, and I said, God, if you just give me back me, just give me, find me who I am, bring her back to me, because I know that you know me. And, and the Lord says he chooses us. We do not choose him. He chooses us. Jewish, when I accepted. That you You know what I want to do? I feel like kneeling right now. We've just seen so much here tonight. Two deaf boys, multiple sclerosis, three years. Been married for this man three years and had never seen her do what she's been doing here. Lift those hands to him, will you? Kneel with me, sweetheart. You can do that. I couldn't feel my Pardon? I couldn't feel my knees or my legs. I couldn't. Lift those hands up high. She couldn't, she couldn't move. Sing it with me, Jesus. Thanks a million. And open your eyes and look up. Don't look down. Look up, look up, look up. He is seated on the throne. 
Come on, musicians. Jesus, thanks going to see victory in your life and the giant of sickness is going to go in Jesus mighty name. Father in Jesus name I command sickness and disease. I command bondage to go. I command infirmity to leave in Jesus mighty and glorious name. Let the anointing of your Holy Spirit touch every life and every person watching right now Lord. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost descend every person watching and believing shall be in Jesus mighty and glorious name as they going down Lord I command it to go in Jesus mighty name another tumor is being healed my goodness that's tremendous another tumor right now is disappearing I command it to go in Jesus mighty name a back condition has just been healed thank you Lord Jesus that's the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God right now Another back problem has just been healed by the Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the anointing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Stomach ulcers are being healed. I command that ulcer to go. In Jesus' name, Father, let the anointing flow and touch. Really good medicine. I mean, it's good for you. And I asked Jack Hayford, who will be speaking in January, the 28th through the 30th, I asked Jack to bring some of those birthday cards with him. For the Bible telling me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yeah, Jesus love me. Yeah, Jesus love me. Yeah, Jesus love me. The Bible telling me so. Uh huh, uh huh. Jesus alone, yeah, Jesus alone, yeah, Jesus alone, the Abba, Abba, tells me so. Come on now. Come on in where the water's fine. Come on in, we're gonna have us a time. Well, I can feel the presence of the Holy One here tonight. Come on in, get out of your seat. Come on in and stand to your feet. I want to hear you tell the devil you ain't gonna settle tonight. Well, come on in where the water's fine. Come on in, we're gonna have us a time. Well, I can feel the presence of the Holy One here tonight. Come on in, get out of your seat. Come on in and stand to your feet. I want to hear you tell the devil you ain't gonna settle you're not here by no accident. No, you're here because you have unseen. So jump in and watch your trouble leave here on the double tonight. Come on in with the a minute. Jan's got a little word, and Mike Barber's got, you know what he's got? Is, he's got a little roll in, a little thank you from the prison. Know what to do. They look for answers over here and look for answers over there, but they just can't seem to find the solutions to their problems in life. Did you answer? Because we're looking at it in the natural. Oh, look, honey, here you are at your first birthday commitment that's worth the reward. Thanks, Mommy. That's how it is when you make a... With a beat of a drum, to drive such a gap between the... 24 hours a day, that's all I thought about, you know, during school, after school. And nothing I could say, nothing I could do would penetrate that. Jeff and his mother, Margaret, were prime examples of this generational barrier. Jeff was on one side, obsessed with his music, and Margaret was on the other, trying to get back the son she felt she lost because of the music. And the more he played, the further he got away from God. He, he did not want anything to do with going to church or, or anything that had to do with God. I knew that I needed God, but I just wouldn't accept it. I knew that he was there, but I, I thought, me. 
The rock concerts, bar scenes, and failed relationships finally took their toll on Jeff. Emotionally, Jeff started losing his grip on life. I just, just went bananas, man. I just dust fell. He would have wound up in a mental ward. It seemed hopeless, really, and I was... I was at my wit's end where he was concerned. I didn't know what else to do except let God handle it. By letting go and letting God do the work, Margaret was led to watch Success in Life, where she learned that if we make a vow, God will deliver us. I knew that God wouldn't break that covenant as long as I put my faith in God and I continued to pay my vow. I had no idea of what was going on. Um, I didn't know that she had made a vow. I didn't know that um, she'd been praying as hard as she had for me. Margaret didn't give up, and when it looked like all odds were against her is when she saw Psalms 5015 come to life. One morning, Jeff was going to work, and I watched him out the door, and I just couldn't take it any longer. I said, God, I've got to have some help. And I went to the phone, and I called Success in Life. And God had just the perfect counselor there for me. And I talked to him, and I told him what was going on in Jeff's life. And he said, we're going to pray. And he said, where is Jeff? And I said, well, he's working right now. He said, when he comes home from work tonight, you're going to have your son back. About uh, noon that day when I went to work, something clicked in my mind. I said, why are you letting him do you this way? Why is this stuff happening to you? You know, I just started getting mad. I said, Lord. I said, why in the world am I doing? I'm, I, I don't want this to happen to me, and I'm not going to allow it. And I just refused Satan right then and just told him that, hey, you don't have any part of my life anymore. I'm tired of it. That was about 25 minutes after 10 when I made the phone call. At 10 minutes till 12, that same morning, Jeff called me from work. He said, hey, Mom. I said, what? He said, guess what? I said, well, what? He said, Mom, I'm back. I was elated. I was just praising God. It was so wonderful that after all these years, God had brought him back. Mother and son are together again. No more barriers and no burning. Back then, I was selfish, arrogant, basically a jerk. <laughs> but today, man, it's not, not me at all. And it's the Holy Spirit, it's God, it's Jesus that lives in me. When I see him go to church and I see him worship God and praise God, and he's spirit-filled, it's worth everything. Today, Jeff is still playing music, but these tunes give glory to God. Although it still may be a little loud for Margaret's taste, she knows that Jeff's heart has changed. And she knows it's because she made a vow and got in covenant with God. I had a covenant with God, a blood covenant. And when we make a covenant with God and we keep our end of it, God will keep his end of it. He'll see us through. And to know that, that my mom vowed to God, a covenant with God, she gave a vow to God that in order for me to be changed, you know, and that just thrilled me. In fact, Jeff was so thrilled, he decided to step out in faith and make a vow for his own needs. When we really believe God, when we really put, a, I'm going to make a vow, I'm going to trust you, I'm going to prove you, he won't let us down. He's never let me down. You know, you make that vow and you step toward the light, Satan starts getting smaller and smaller until he's exactly where he should. It's sold far in two years, and I think it's only the second house that size that is sold in two years. And ours, the church's, was the most expensive and sold for the most amount of money. Hallelujah. God answers prayer. Amen. And that means that that house that I helped design and build several years ago made a ton of money for the church. Okay, we're starting this uh, new gymnasium just as soon as possible, since one church owned parsonage. And if I'd owned that house in California, I would have made a ton of money and could have retired. But I'll never retire telling people about Jesus. Before we pray, if you're a backslidden, backslider, won't you turn that television dial off? Bound by drugs and alcohol, away from God, luke, you lukewarm.
Jesus said, you that are lukewarm, I'll stir you out of my mouth. Before I go any further, I want you to commit. Healing is the children's bread. Yes, the dogs can be healed. Those outcasts can be healed. There are people that don't serve God get healed all the time. But I tell you, healing belongs to God's people. And I want you to pray this prayer with me. Make eternal organs, your mind off of you. Are you ready? Satan, you spirit of infirmity, sickness, disease, that's attacked this child of God down into the kidneys. Satan, you spirit of infirmity, you, you demonic cancerous cells, arthritis cells, I break your power and I command you to cease from existence and depart, pass into the sea, out of this man, out of this woman, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of the living God, flow through my hand, through this television set, flow into that body, into that mind, into that heart. There's a heat now flowing into your heart. There's a heart being healed, going down into the lungs, the esophagus. There's some type of esophagus. There's some type of a growth inside of the mouth. I curse that tumor, that growth now in the name of Jesus. There's another person who has some type of a tumor. I curse it at the roots and command it to go in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now, there's a heat going down to the kidneys, down to the bladder, a healing power of God into your mouth into your eyes, into your ears, the healing power of God. Someone's having a scalp problem. The healing power of God just went into that scalp. I see someone being healed in their head. Pain, someone with severe pain. Pain, come out. I said pain, come out in the name of Jesus. Someone has a, a runny sore. God's healing that part, spot right now. Take that spirit of infirmity that's hindered it from healing. Go in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Now raise your hands and shout. I want every one of you that just, I want you, to, I want you to express some energy. Hallelujah! I want you to shout and do something. The kingdom of heaven serve and violent, and the violent take it by force. You've got to get excited and press in. Now begin to bend around. There's a back being healed. Down into the knees, there's some type of an unusual situation with the knee. God's healing that knee. If you'll bend over three times, one for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Ghost. Begin to move around, raise your arms, begin to thank God that he's healing you. Begin to start walking around your room, raise your hands up and praising God, praising God. Begin to walk around the room shouting hallelujah, and praising God, praising God, praising God, hallelujah. Isn't that something? See, healing in your eyes, you might as well get in on this prayer. For the anointing of my Holy Spirit, saith the Lord will penetrate even into the understanding of thy With truth, you know it. Worry and eat, worry and eat, worry and eat. Bless God, quit worrying. Worrying doesn't do a bit of good. Who, he who plants a vineyard, should he not partake of the mental ascent, not according to tradition, not according to Springfield or Nashville or Cleveland or any of the other headquarters that doesn't believe in things like this. I'm talking about the Bible. I'm talking about Jerusalem. I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about when Jesus told Peter, go fishing. Do what takes faith. Peter, cast the word of God has to say, and it will work in your life. Now I'm going to start praying. I want you to call me real quickly wherever you are. Get, there's a hundred things that I could be doing that I'm not doing right now just so I can be on this television set looking at you, talking to more people. And he said, my people have faith, but they're still faith. Your enemies will consume you because they didn't keep going and doing. See, that's the way it works. <laughs> but I prayed with all my might, please bring me some people that um, can tell me, bring me some people that can lead me to you, Jesus, because I, I don't know where you are anymore. I don't get it. See, when I found the fame, hallelujah, that's who you got to seek, not the fame and fortune. That ain't going to bring you, that is not going to give you heaven. Because guess what? You can't even take the makeup on your face to heaven. Hallelujah. <laughs> this, is, this is true. <laughs> Praise God. And he said, if you seek first the kingdom of God. Oh, my heart is different. Oh, the love that I have for people. You know, um, I was telling somebody, they're looking at me, maybe they're laughing. It doesn't matter because when they get back to their hotel rooms or their home homes, guess what? They're calling me on the phone separately, individually. They're scared. In a group, they think, they, what, they're big on nothing. But you know something? Don't pay attention to their faces. Just plant that seed and then pray for them. Because the almighty prayer works, hallelujah, it does. Absolutely. It does. Ladies and gentlemen, Vanity, Denise Matthews, thank hallelujah. you for coming to be with us. It's a pleasure <laughs> to have you in the God bless you, Denise. And much success in what you're doing now.
I'm out of here. No, no, you sit right here for just a moment. The easy oh, woman. Okay. This, the woman in our next story knows about this. It was easy money. Listening to a radio. God. In the pen, you put it down to say, what have they been doing? They are in both ears. Then the God of them. For two years. Then the God. God's waiting. Because he attacks minds and bodies and frustrations and oppressive spirit. And I'm going to come against him, so don't be afraid. Satan, you demonic spirits of hell, you've permitted this child of God. And I bind you. I take dominion over you in the name of Jesus. And I command you to loose this child of God. Loose, loose them now. Come out of that body. Come out of that house. Come out of that financial area. Come out. Satan, you foul, tormenting spirits. Go! 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 In Jesus' name. And now, Holy Spirit of the living God, as I lay my hands upon these prayer requests. And in Former church members accused the bishop of exploiting followers and taking their money by promising to do things he cannot do, such as cure diseases ranging from cancer to AIDS. And he behaves like a little girl. He even claims he can rid people of homosexuality by driving out demons. Isn't this true to have attacked the homosexuals? At this bizarre exorcism recently in Brooklyn, the bishop found satanic powers at work in even the youngest members of his flock. Macedo is also facing federal tax. The government wants to know where he got the $45 million he used to buy a Brazilian television network. The press there has reported accusations the money came from Colombian drug dealers. Uh, apparently many people are claiming that he's a fraud and a fake. And, right. About this, these accusations have, been, have, have gone on since 1989, but nothing has been proved until today. His followers here blame the bishop's problems on the Catholic because Church in Brazil. The church there has, has been growing a lot, and we have uh, threatened the, the biggest church there, which, which is the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church doesn't like our work because many of the Catholic people are coming to our church. The head demon, yes, yes, manifesting power. power. Yes, stand up, stand up. For outsiders accustomed to just praying and singing in church, this may seem more like theater of the absurd. Stand up. But the Universal stand Church up. claims these are real exorcisms and that real demons are being cast out. And I would compare it in a sense to what happened in Jonestown. Father James Labar is a New York priest who has participated participated in several exorcisms for the Catholic Church, which does believe the devil can take possession of humans. Labar watched our video and said he thinks mind control, similar to that found in cults, is being employed in the Universal Church. It would seem highly unlikely that so many people could have demons in them gathered in one place, but it is not unlikely that they could be psychologically manipulated to react in these ways. At the Universal Church, the possessed are controlled by one hand. Labar says it has taken as many as six to eight people to hold down the possessed person in exorcisms he's taken part in. In a true exorcism, the poor person is terrified of the exorcist. And that's one of the reasons it takes so many people to hold down, because it doesn't even want to be in the presence of the exorcist. But if these people are not really in the throes of some sort of demonic transmutation, then what is happening here? This is something akin to a, a, a hypnotic trance. Arthur Reber is a professor of psychology at Brooklyn College. He says he thinks some of these people came to church predisposed to have an episode like this. You have to have individuals who are who are in a, in a certain you know emotional state of, of despair and confusion, um, and are willing and, and are willing to give over. Uh, the, the normal decision-making process to, to these individuals. Another thing the faithful give over here is money. Lots of it. Enough, in fact, to make the church and its leaders in just 15 years worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Church officials say these are voluntary donations, but others have accused Bishop Macedo and his people of coercing followers to fork over large sums. Whatever the case, this is as integral a part of the ceremony here as the chief attraction of the Universal Church, the business of driving out demons. The charges against Bishop Macedo are still pending in Brazil.
here in the United States, Macedo hasn't been accused of any wrongdoing. In a minute, the story of another man with a finger of the law pointing at him. He's a ticket scalper, and one of the reasons you may be paying as much as eight... Under arrest. Both under arrest. Hi. Hi. My baby blanket. Yeah, my dog must have gotten it off your clothesline. I'm really sorry. I tried to wash it, but look.